No, uh, uh, break it down in layman terms. We have two vaccines right now, Covishield, Covaxin. There was a huge sizable chunk, uh, you know, of people who maybe aren't, uh, in terms of medical jargon, not equipped to deal with the kind of words of, uh, you know, RNA or, uh, you, you know, what are the other types of vaccines there. Some of them would actually say, okay, I've had three jabs of Covishield, maybe I should, you know, maybe do a cocktail now and get a Covaxin, it will help me. Will it help them at all? No, it will not because uh, we have studies that tell us we, it's not just the immunity from the vaccine. Like the other panelists have been saying, we are in a very golden uh, place where we have hybrid immunity, where we have immunity from the vaccines and a much longer lasting and much better immunity that comes with a natural infection. So just comparing ourselves to China and thinking that we need a vaccine because what China is seeing now is what we saw in our Delta wave. China had a zero COVID policy up till now. And now when they opened up, they really opened up and their population was very susceptible. So Omicron, which wouldn't have, which cannot cause a problem in our country, since we have immunity, that population was very susceptible. And therefore they're seeing that many infections and that many deaths. So we really cannot compare our okay. population with- Dr. Neera Chivara, I'll take the same question to you, because, you know, I'll take the same question to you, because even <laughs> as I'm anchoring right now, the kind of, even on Twitter, and these are layman questions and a lot of people have these questions as well. That, uh, you know, there's somebody saying, I've had three jabs of Covaxin, should I be now taking a Covid shield to better my immunity? I am immunocompromised. So if you have taken the precaution dose, whether it is a two Covid shield and the uh, third Covid shield or the two Covaxin and another Covid shield, okay. But now the question whether you are, if you cr crisscross the, these vaccines, there may be a slight improvement, but what we are talking about today, that whether we will be able to, you know, the, uh, tackle this situation if we are dealing with the new uh, variants, then I think this answer is no. And as, as uh, you know, the panelists have said, that we don't need to compare at all with the China, because what the China is seeing, right. we have seen in 2020 and 2021. So because they had a zero COVID policy, the people have not come out of their houses since last True. two years. And but, you know, we, have okay. been, we have been out, we have been developing infection. I understand. You know, we are stressing repeatedly on hybrid immunity. Dr. Swami Nathan, you wanted to talk about maybe the cocktail theory of mixing, uh, you know, three yes. uh, so and then do... Yes, go ahead. There is some amount of data about cross-matching vaccines and overall it seems that cross-matching of vaccines could probably give you better benefit, although the data is still very, very slim. But experts in immunology are suggesting that the order of vaccines would be a protein vaccine above an adenovirus vaccine above an inactivated vaccine, meaning Corbivax above Covishield above Covaxin. But this is the opinion of an immunologist and I would probably rate the nasal flu vaccine much higher than all of these. So in my mind, my mm -hmm. first option would be the nasal flu vaccine, next option Corbivax, next option Covishield, next option Covaxin. That would be my rank order of if I had to take the vaccine, that's how I would take it. That's how I would, you would take it as a fourth dose? No, I would take, if I had the nasal vaccine, I would take that. If I can't get the nasal vaccine, I'd go for the protein vaccine, Corbivax. If I can't get that, I will go for Covishield. If I can't get that, I will go okay. for Covaxin. But you will do this even you if you are uh, vaccinated thrice over? Uh, well, I have to apologize and say I haven't had the chance to get the third dose simply because I've been holding out for Corbivax. Okay, so you've been waiting for Corbivax, okay. But, uh, you know, the question I want to ask all three of you, because we're stressing so much on hybrid immunity, we are also stressing on the fact that, yes, what we see in China could possibly what we saw in the Delta wave. But there's a larger question to that, because at this stage, um, the kind of level of infection, the numbers that we're talking about, could it lead to a mutation as well? of, uh, you know, we are talking about the B7 virus here. Uh, you know, Dr. Uh, uh, Trupti, do you want to take that? Could there be a mutation? If there's a mutation, do we now then need a fourth dose? So there are always mutations. What, what that mutation does to the virus can vary. Sometimes it can make it more infectious. Uh, but as viruses in, evolve, we know that mutations only tend to make viruses more infectious and lesser lethal. So we cannot just think of a fourth dose without even knowing what the mutation is. So what's important right now is just keep watching, do genome sequencing uh, on a, for a public health perspective, and then take a call based on whether we really see rising numbers. But as okay. of now, there isn't a, a need of a fourth dose, nor is there any need to panic. 
But Dr. Neeraj Tulara, if there is a possibility that there could be a mutation, should we not be ready for it earlier on? And if there is data which seems to suggest that maybe, you know, crisscrossing vaccines or a vaccine cocktail can help us, why not go that route? See, mutation have been happening last two and a half year, and mutation will keep on happening. It is a survival of the fittest. Okay, so the, the virus want to survive, so it, the mutation will continue to happen. We have been seeing multiples of mutations in last one year, even in the Omicron. I can name you the BA 5.2, BA 5, BA 7, BA 1.1. Multiples of the, you know, the variant have been happened. Now, that does not mean that we need to take a fourth jab. And again, I want to stress here that the vaccines, what we are having right now, whether it is a co-vaccine, Corbivax, Covishield, or the messenger RNA vaccines, they are on the same uh, coronavirus, uh, you know, the variant which was there, there in the 2020. So probably uh, they will not be able to cover the variants which we are facing right now. So that okay. does not become a logic that we need to give a fourth jab because we are having mutations. Mutations have been happening. And we okay. have seen with the Omicron, Omicron have come and gone. We have not seen much of the problem and we are high time. Right now we are the high time low numbers in the country. True. And uh, I, I strongly feel probably we will pass on this too very smoothly. All right. Okay, Dr. Swami Nathan, are you of the same opinion that, uh, you know, no need to even crisscross vaccines right now, even for those who are immunocompromised? See, but it all boils down to the fact that we don't have enough data. So what we need is data to try and figure out what needs to be done. So obviously we need to start collecting lots of data, not just okay. from within our country, but from our neighborhood and across the world to try and find out what okay. the new emerging variants are and see how much of a threat they represent to us. If it is not a threat as it is right now, there is absolutely no reason to panic. But again, okay. the, the situation remains fluid and we need to keep recalibrating. Okay.